Jar Shack Field in Jersey City, New Jersey. This is St. Peter's Peacocks Women's Soccer right here on the Peacocks Digital Network. Today, the Peacocks coming in at two wins and three defeats will take on the Lafayette Leopards coming in with two th wins, three defeats, and a draw. It's great to have you with us. My name is James Cargan. St. Peter's has been on the back foot as of late. They've lost three consecutive matches after coming off to their fir their best start in 25 years. They've been shut out as well in all three of those matches against NJIT, Campbell, and Maine. But today they get to today they look to get right back on the strong side against the Lafayette team that has had similar issues in scoring goals this season. Lafayette with just five on the season, St. Peter's with four. Both teams making one change in their starting lineup from their previous game, Lafayette's previous game, was a 4-1 to defeat against the 15th ranked team in the nation, the Georgetown Hoyas. Lafayette will add Sophia Hudson to their lineup, replacing Abby Bresnahan at midfield. And for St. Peter's, their change comes up top. Stephanie Radakovich re-enters the starting 11, replacing the big 6'0 forward from Auckland, New Zealand, Amber Whitley. Radakovich had a strong game in the defeat against Campbell. We'll look to replicate that performance. A lot of history between these two teams. Wind blowing as well as we are underway here in Jersey City. Already a strong header back from Caitlin Balmer, the senior defender out of Sherborne, Mass, anchoring the central defense. On the near side, the leading scorer, Sophie Saldivar, sending it towards the keeper, Haley Martin, who didn't have as much time as she thought she did. That wind blowing left to right, as you can probably hear in the microphone, not favoring St. Peter's, favoring the opposing Leopards as it's sent in towards the penalty area. Not say Craw knocks it away. Already across in deep, and it's in. Sophia Hudson is entered into the starting lineup, and in the first minute of the game, she has put her team up 1 0. Out of nowhere, St. Peter's has conceded in 41 seconds. My goodness. It's Hudson's first goal of the season and the first goal of her college career, just a sophomore, is she out of Murraysville, Pennsylvania. And already St. Peter's is on the back foot there. History between two these two teams has been a tad lopsided in this century. St. Peter's has not defeated Lafayette in the last 17 meetings between these two teams, dating back to 1998, which was their last victory over the Leopards. They haven't scored in their last 13 games against the Leopards. Juliana Merle will try to change that from well deep, but safely into the hands of the Leopards keeper, Maggie Pohl, the junior out of Mannheim, Pennsylvania. It should be noted that Lafayette plays two goalkeepers, switching it out at halftime, we expect to see Natalie Newman, the freshman, in the net in the second half. But right now, the Leopards well and truly in control. They missed the overlap on the far side. Kinley Bruns to Skyler Owens for St. Peter's. Madison Greenberg, leading goal scorer so far on the young season for the Peacocks. Fails to win the ball from the goal scorer, Hudson. Set down by Lynn, Lindy Gibbs, the sophomore defender out of Aldi, Virginia, into the hands of the freshman keeper, Haley Martin making her second consecutive start. A strong drop kick, but that's going to die in the wind. Falls to the Carney native, Isabel Fernandez. Tries to play 1-2 with Greenberg. Shut out by Sophia Hudson. She's had a strong game on both ends so far, not even three minutes in. On defense as well as mentioned before, Caitlin Balmer. And on the far side is Cameron Monfort, the junior out of Syosset, New York, as it's going to be Skylar Owens to send it in with a long throw towards the tallest player for St. Peter's, Radakovich, on the pitch. It's going to be a corner kick for the Peacocks. First for either side of the match, just three minutes in. 
the fastest goal that's been scored in any St. Peter's game this season by quite a bit. It's played short for Merle. Not the best cross, and Lafayette could have room on the far side if they switch the field. But dispossessed is Krista Kissel out of Cresco, Pennsylvania. Radakovich tries to cut it back. She cannot. Excellent job by Ariana Aliprantis, the sophomore defender out of Manhasset, New York. Bruns not coming to the ball, and Saldivar takes it away. Sophie Saldivar, the junior out of Pasadena, California, sending it forward for Sarah Oswald. Sarah Oswald's going to win the get race one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Martin is strong off her line to knock it away, and Oswald is down hard. Oswald is still down. My goodness, the freshman. And already concern showed for Oswald, the freshman out of Percasey, Pennsylvania. Martin showed excellent aggression on that breakaway chance, winning the ball on the tackle. Very close the Peacocks were to going down 2 0 within the first four minutes of the match. And obviously, all concern goes to the freshman Sarah Oswald. Still down is she shielded right now from our vantage point by the huddling St. Peter's Peacocks team. Sitting up, trainer looking at her left leg at the moment. Just sent it, the ball was just sent forward, winning the race against the central defender, Brooke Bucci been the best defender for St. Peter's this season, but Oswald is now up and walking off, not sure exactly, looks to be holding her midsection in fact. It's hard to tell, maybe her left hand, her left hand could be compromised here. Lafayette has signaled that on this drop ball it will be kicked back towards Haley Martin, the keeper. Substitute coming in is going to be Melissa Lamana, the freshman striker out of Markham, Ontario, Canada. Oswald looks to be in considerable pain coming off, and it is kicked back to Martin. Starting 11 for St. Peter's is the same that it's been in the first four games, with only one change coming in the previous game against Campbell. It's Skylar Owens trying to play Decor on the overlap, but it's too far in front of her. Bucci has to recover to the far side, getting back to the center of the park for Owens. Trying to chip it up to Ducora, but the throw is won by St. Peter's off the deflection. In the back, it's Naze Craw and Brooke Bucci at central defense. Noel Defiti and Fatou Ducora at wing back. In the midfield, it's Kinley Bruns playing in sort of a defensive midfielder role as the throw is sent in toward Juliana Merle. Rebecca Schreiner could be leading the break here for Lafayette. Schreiner, the junior out of Great River, New York, sends it to the far side. Lamana leaves it off. It's crossed, sent in toward the back post. It's headed up and into the net by Rebecca Schreiner. Lafayette has scored twice in the first five minutes of this match. Rebecca Schreiner could not have placed that header any better straight over the keeper, Martin. And it's 2-0 to the Leopards. It's the first goal for Schreiner on the season. And St. Peter's puts it out almost immediately on the kickoff. Peters, as mentioned before, came in with a 17-match winless streak against these Leopards, dating back 
1998. Radakovich looking for the Hudson County native Fernandez on the near side. Instead, Defiti puts it up. Ball was shielded off by Mason Worthington, number 10, the senior out of Manchester, Connecticut. Sent up again. Brooke Bucci knocks it toward Owens, who had space in front but just couldn't get the touch right. Cameron Monfort drove in. Instead, it's Madison Greenberg. Down to Fernandez. Steps over the ball. Trying to put it past Lindsey Gibbs, but she was strong on the tackle. Instead, it's Defiti putting it up forward. Ariana Aleprontis knocking it over to Cameron Monfort. To Ketlin Balmer, who is so steady in the back of the senior defender from Sherbourne, Mass. Played all but 10 minutes last season as a team leader in minutes this season. Beautiful chip. Decora is going to give chase. The flag is up on the near side. Rebecca Schreiner already looking for her second goal of the match. But in the offsides position was she. Haley Martin will knock it away, the freshman keeper. Just her second career start, as mentioned before. Coach Melissa Sherwood, in her fourth season, has raved about her potential. Melissa Sherwood, originally the native of Leeds, England. Sees a fellow Englishman on the other side as the head coach, Miss Statham, in his 14th season, originally from Manchester, England. Ball one and touched beautifully by Lamana. In towards Kissel. She could not win the ball. Fernandez, does she keep it in? She does. Greenberg has space to move forward. Looking for Merle, stand a bit too far behind her. Falls back to Fernandez, former Hudson County champion in high school in, from, at Kearney. Greenberg, the freshman bat of Missouri. Radakovich, a strong left footed cross, but nobody home on the back post. We run to by the aforementioned Monfort who keeps it in play. Schreiner has Owens on her hip. She gives it up to Fatou Dukora. Knocked toward the center of the park. Passed back towards Salivar. Salivar dispossessed by Greenberg. Defeaty to your side. Fernandez is going to have her hands full on the wings with Sophia Hudson. And the free kick will go the way of Hudson and her Lafayette Leopards. Mentioned before the, the wind blowing a bit from left to right here at Jarashack Field. That's been a common theme this season. Very windy ground this is as it's sent in towards the penalty area. Collected by Lamana, cleared aside, headed back in by Monfort. Cleared back again on the foot of Greenberg, but she couldn't handle it. Outside of the foot, H Hudson tried to get it towards the middle. Sent toward Fernandez, who puts it up. Direction of Radakovich. Strong ball toward Lamana. Overlaps it for Gibbs, sends it up. Bruns deflects it. Kinley Bruns, a sophomore out of Pasadena, Maryland. Radakovich tries to hold up play. Owens. Didn't see the player behind her, Saldivar. It's sent forward towards Kissel, and Haley Martin in the end slides onto the ball. Not as urgent as the challenge with Oswald a few minutes ago. Oswald still down on the bench. Has an ice pack, it looks like, on her left hand. I believe what ended up being the injury. Kissel will see herself offside, the flag up here on the other side. Similar resumes coming in for both of these teams. Both teams with two victories on the season. Both teams having one victory over Delaware State and each scored three goals in their respective matchups against the Hornets. St. Peter's that coming in their season opening match across town at Caven Point. 
runs toward the middle for Radakovich. Has Defiti on the overlap. Hits Defiti on the overlap. The native from Staten Island, a graduate transfer from Mount St. Mary's, sending it in toward the penalty area. But collected and cleared aside with ease by Lindy Gibbs. Kissel, the junior. Being chased down by Kinley Bruns. Crosses over. Tries to switch the field, but straight at Fatou Dukora. Bucci to Skylar Owens in the middle of the park. Owens hits Fernandez on the near side. The run by Greenberg was a nice idea, but Balmer had the same idea, cutting it off. Back for Hudson, who sends it forward, the goal scorer. To Lamana, substitute replacing the injured Oswald. Lamana sends it toward the near post, a shot by Saldiv Saldivar deflected and will go out for the corner. Another dangerous situation for St. Peter's on this corner. Got a propensity of giving up goals on the crossing situation. Ball will be sent in by Mason Worthington, the senior midfielder out of Manchester, Connecticut. Sending in toward the near post. It was deflected off of the keeper, Martin. It's still loose in the penalty area. Hudson gives it back to Worthington. Strong header by Fernandez, clears her line for the moment. Merle has to chase onto it, she wins the ball. And St. Peter's can relieve the pressure. Defiti, back for Naze Craw, who puts it into the attacking half. Collected by Caitlin Balmer. Back for her central defender, defending partner Ariana Aliprantis. To the far side, it's Momfort taking it forward. Toward the near side, good ball for Saldivar. Saldivar, nice tackle by Defiti, sent back in. It looked like it was an offsides position for Kissel, that's why she chose not to challenge that ball in the penalty area. Safely in from Martin. Great distribution skills from Martin. a beautiful drop kick, such a hard technique to master at any level. Been so impressed by those kicks and punts from her in this season, one of her best attributes. To the near side, Lindy Gibbs. Sent forward for Kissel. Bucci was there to challenge, but Kissel collects, trying to retreat. Greenberg battling for the ball. She wins the ball. St. Peter's has failed to get big numbers forward at, on many occasions this season. Greenberg, 1-2 with Fernandez, who sends it to the near side, and straight out of play. Hudson to Worthington, who last season in the 3-0 win over St. Peter's had a goal and an assist, may have another assist here. Lamana could be in on goal, but Ducora did a nice job of shielding her off, allowing Haley Martin to collect the ball it was 3-0 last season between these two teams back in beautiful Easton, Pennsylvania. That ball sent quite far, even with the wind in its direction. Just imagine in the second half when the wind is in the favor of Haley Martin. That ball will likely go all the way to the opposing keeper. Deflection and Craw has to track back and give it up to her keeper, Haley Martin. Looking for Merle, the smallest player on the pitch. Can't win that ball, but it falls to the defensive midfielder, Kinley Bruns. Saldivar towards Defiti. Defiti's touch was a bit too far, and it's taken back by the Lafayette Leopards, Lindy Gibbs. Gibbs only made three starts all season last year, but has been so reliable for the Leopards this year. Second on the team in minutes played. Creating havoc on both sides of the pitch. A long range effort uh, will sail well wide off the foot of Rebecca Schreiner. Schreiner has scored, of course, today as we are 15 minutes into this match and we see the first substitute for St. Peter's. It will be Jessica Oval replacing Skylar Owens. Oval, the sophomore midfielder out of Baltimore, Maryland. 
Replaces the fellow sophomore out of Baltimore, Maryland, Maryland Skylar Owens. Like for like swap, not just in classes and in hometowns, but in typical positions on the field as well. Both like to play in that attacking midfield area. Defeaty safely puts it out for the throw. Lafayette has had excellent chances throughout this match, looking for their 17th victory in 18 games against St. Peter's. Have not been defeated by the Peacocks since 1998. Only one draw between the teams in that span. Top of the penalty area it goes. It's won by Fatou Dukora. We'll try to take the scenic route, go around Rebecca Schreiner. She will win the throw in the process. Fatou Dukora out of the Bronx, New York. Just a sophomore. Described by her head coach, Melissa Sherwood, as sort of a silent assassin on the pitch. And was given a trial by fire in high school. Had to play on her school's boys' soccer team. They did not have a girls' soccer team, but wound up becoming the captain of that team. Flick header missed and onto the foot of Kinley Bruns, who finds Jessica Oval. A touch a bit too far for Jessica Oval, however. It's Saldivar, the middle of the field for Lamana. Lamana dispossessed by Greenberg. Fernandez. Fernandez went for the step over, a, a harsh tackle made by Lindy Gibbs. And Fernandez remains on the pitch for now. She's slow to get up. A bit reckless, that tackle. Lindy Gibbs may be a bit fortunate not to have received a caution or at least a talking to by the lead official. The lead official today being Mike DeFelice. Brooke Bucci near midfield will send it toward the penalty area where seemingly all the St. Peter's Peacocks are lined up waiting for the ball. Bucci sends it to forward toward the top of the penalty area. The ball won strong by the Leopards. Saldivar, oodles of space in front, has runners to both sides. Will streak down the middle of the field. Kissel, the back post, it's sent over the bar by Lamana. Lamana, golden opportunity to make it 3 0 within the first 18 minutes of this match, but just sends it over the bar. St. Peter is beaten on the counter once again. That goal kick low for Martin sent back towards Kissel. But Martin should get there and will. Aze Craw will play it forward from the Matt Craw, the junior captain out of Norwalk, Connecticut. Up towards Ravikovic, physical header by Balmer, no whistle. Bucci will challenge, may have conceded a free kick, but instead it's Kissel giving chase the ball for Craw. Could have been whistles for fouls on both of the preceding plays, the header and the challenge for Book Bucci, but the referee says play on and so we do. Great back heel. Kissel will send it towards the back post. Running onto it was Schreiner looking for her second, but sending it wide. St. Peter's has given up a couple goals this season on that back post. I'll have to try and shore it up at some point this season, especially as they get into conference play. Last season, St. Peter's had their most successful conference season since 1998. Maybe not coincidentally, that was the last year that they defeated these Lafayette Leopards. It's Worthington, streaking up the far side. Sending it toward the middle of the penalty area. It's deflected out toward Fernandez. May have had Greenberg on the overlap behind her, but instead up towards Juliana Murrow, who will always pester for the ball. Balmer back for her keeper, Paul. Forward towards Schreiner in the middle of the field. Lamana with a great deke. Eluding Kinley Bruns. Monfort. Goes around Oval. Still it's Monfort. 
Monfort still weaving. Monfort could be in on goal. What a run. It's Monfort. And it's stopped by Martin. Cleared out by Decora. It's still Schreiner. Schreiner sends it toward goal. Martin with the safe hands. But what about the run from Cameron Monfort out of Syosset, New York? Just weaving around defenders when almost half the length of the field to get a beautiful chance on goal. But in the end, Martin was too much for. Her. Gibbs. For Lamana. Lamana, just a freshman out of Canada. It's Saldivar. Saldivar has three goals on the season for her team. Two of those goals coming against Delaware State. And the first of those goals being a game winner against St. Francis College in Brooklyn. The first game of the season for the Leopards as we will get a mandated cooling break due to the temperature here.